Folks, uh, Kevin Strickland, this brother has been saying for years, 43 years, he did not commit uh, a crime that landed him on death row there in Missouri. Republicans in that state kept fighting, 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 trying to keep him in prison. A prosecutor reviewed the evidence and said, something is amiss here. He did not commit this crime. Didn't matter. They kept fighting and fighting and fighting. He wasn't sure that one day he would get released. He wasn't sure that he would ever see freedom. Well, today, a judge granted that exoneration and said Kevin Strickland is indeed a free man. He called in and ordered him to be immediate, immediately released. Strickland was convicted in 1978 for the deaths of 21-year-old Larry Ingram, 20-year-old John Walker, and 22-year-old Sherry Black. Again, he said, never thought he would see the day that he would be free. No, I didn't think this day was going to come. I mean, not before I got this legal team I didn't. What I was thinking in prison today, before this happened, I was actually watching a soap opera. And they <laughs> thing went across news break or whatever they call them, and, and I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. So that's how you learned? That's how I learned. You saw your own name on the screen? In the picture, yes. And then other inmates start hollering. What is more shameful? Kev Eric Schmidt, who is the Missouri Attorney General, a Republican, disagreed with that prosecutor and fought to keep Strickland in prison. The Republican governor of that state, Mike Parson, did the exact same thing, making it clear that he wouldn't even consider making it a priority to pardon Kevin Strickland. This is the type of thing, Lee, that is grossly offensive, where you have a prosecutor who reviewed the evidence, who said, didn't do it. The courts reviewed it and how they and how these Republicans are behaving. And Schmidt is actually running for the United States Senate in Missouri. I don't know what this this show is today, but it's it's heavy on my heart, brother. You know, uh, my brother over there with the law books behind him, he's a lawyer. He's a student of the law. He practices the law. But, man, I'm a man of faith, and I just believe in the humanity of all people, man. Like, you know, when the law fails us, you know, sometimes we're just looking for people to stand up and say, you know what? Right is right, and 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 we're going to do what's right in, in where people are concerned. And unfortunately, it just seems too frequently, man, that, that when issues of the law arise, we get the the, the opposite, the tail end of the law. We don't get the benefit of the doubt. We don't get people taking that extra step uh, to do what's right. And this man sat in a Missouri prison for over 40 years, and the man said he was at home watching TV and likely ended up in this place because of the lack of a adequate legal team or just a jury that didn't care or a prosecutor that knew that this man wasn't guilty but decided to uh, make sure that their record was straight and he has had to forfeit 40 plus years of his life and here's the other thing he's gonna get some money when he leaves but it will pale in comparison to the the, the freedom that he lost uh, over those years man I, 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 actually um he's not gonna get any money because, because of how Missouri, Missouri is very strict when it comes to their compensation. Uh, Matt, that right there is even more shameful. Jeez. It is, and I think Pastor May was 100% right. This is a case where it's just unequivocal. We should not only take care of this brother, but we should do everything possible to try to you know, remunerate him for the loss of his life. The reason Missouri's law is so strict is because it only allows for compensation if you're exonerated via a DNA law which is garbage, if you ask me, because it's obvious here that the prosecutor didn't believe the evidence substantiated the charge, and this brother lost 40 years of his life. It should be a no-brainer that he's compensated. Just to give you context, if he had been convicted in nearby Kansas or next-door Kansas, he would have gotten $65,000 a year 
uh, per year that he was incarcerated. So it's insane that just next door they would have compensated him to the tune of almost $2 million. But Missouri doesn't deem that appropriate under these heinous circumstances. I mean, that right there just shows you how other, other ridiculous this is. And this is from the Washington Post story here. Go to my computer, please. Um, around 10 p.m., Strickland was watching television when he was stunned by a news bulletin about the triple murder. Strickland had stayed home that night and had been on the phone and playing games after eating dinner with family members. His alibi was verified by numerous relatives. And they still pinned it on him, Lee. That, that's what I mean, man. It's just, it's, 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 it's as if uh, he wasn't good enough uh, to have what other people would have experienced, freedom, because of an alibi. Uh, and man, I'm just, I'm just saying, man, my heart is, 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 is heavy for this brother, but it's also happy. It's excited because he gets the remainder of his years free. My prayer is that people will, will wrap their arms around him, support him financially, raising money for him to, to help him live out the remainder of his years with his family and loved ones as well, man. But, but in instances like this, like in Georgia with the Ahmaud Arbery case, when you look at this citizen's arrest, People came together, our legislators came together, even our Republican governor signed the legislation. It didn't go as far as it should have, but they made some changes. My prayer is in Missouri, uh, the elected leadership, which it doesn't look like they will even be interested in it, would make some changes to wrong rights, to right wrongs, like what uh, Brother Strickland has experienced. Well, this is one of those examples right here, Matt, where I would hope black folks and others, if you want a reason in Missouri to vote, then you make yeah. sure Kevin Schmidt, Kevin Schmidt does not become the United States senator because of what he did here. And then you have that trifling governor who said he would not make it a priority for Kevin Strickland, but he quickly pardoned uh, the, the white couple who, pulled their, who, were, who were charged and pulled their guns out on the Black Lives Matter protesters in St. Louis. It's all about politics, too, and that's the worst part. These, these DAs and other people who are charged with making sure that justice is sought and justice is done, a lot of times don't want to do the just thing because they don't want to lose votes or they don't want to lose political capital. That's the only reason Schmidt and the governor are out against this. If the prosecutor themselves moves to have him exonerated because the evidence doesn't substantiate the charge, the fact that you're carrying the mantle for a conviction shows you have ulterior motives. And those are, ulterior motives are keeping a black man behind bars and keeping the narrative that this scary black man must have committed this crime that everyone else knows he didn't commit. It's pretty simple. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. This weekend for the Bayou Classic, broadcasting live in partnership with Coca-Cola, Friday and Saturday. You do not want to miss it. Uh, so Black Star Network will be on the scene. That's right, covering the coaches luncheon on Friday. We'll be broadcasting Friday night. Then, of course, uh, we'll be broadcasting from the Fan Zone. Uh, there's a parade Saturday morning, broadcasting that. Plus, from the Fan Zone, in addition... We'll be broadcasting the halftime. That's right, y'all. Don't worry about the rest of these folk. Don't worry about it. NBC doesn't show it. We'll be showing you the halftime show right here on the Black Star Network.